Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. Today I'm up riding at Cardrona with my friend Adam. Hey guys. And in this video, we're gonna do a board swap. So Adam, he's got the Battalion Evil Twin and I've got the GNU Headspace. So we're gonna swap boards, compare them, and then give you guys some feedback on just what we think are the biggest differences of the boards. I would say the biggest difference between the Evil Twin and the Headspace is Battalion's got 3BT which is the spoon-like shape in the nose and tail, and the headspace has magnet traction. Really different technologies in both boards. They should feel very different. Let's test them out. All right guys, so I just got through my first lap on the Evil Twin. Honestly, it really exceeded my expectations. Even though it doesn't have the magnet traction, I still felt like it had pretty good hold because of that camber the whole way through. And then the 3BT in the nose and tail made it very playful, really easy to get butters. Didn't feel like I was gonna catch an edge at all. And I feel like this is just a fun park board. Just allows you to do a bit of everything. I think the biggest differences though between this and the headspace is there's a little bit less control on the battalion just because of those raised contact points. And I'd say it's a little bit stiffer, which is nice for those larger jumps. And it's also nice just for riding at high speeds and staying in control. But the thing I miss about the headspace is that magnet traction. Just gives you that 10 out of 10 on the edge hold. But the Evil Twin surprised me. It's still pretty good. I'd say it's like a seven out of 10. All right, so Adam, first impressions, just what stood out to you the most over that lap? Definitely the difference for me between this and the Evil Twin is that magnet traction. Having contact right the way through, it definitely feels a bit more secure. Um, over jumps, it just it feels really nice, but it's also still soft to really press it out. Which one would you say is easier to butter? At the moment, I'd say the headspace is definitely easier to butter, definitely, but I'm still trying to get used to that 3BT on the Evil Twin. Is there anything you feel like you're missing on the headspace that you get in the Evil Twin? Definitely that catch-free feeling. On the Evil Twin, I feel like even if you start to start to sort of catch something, that 3BT definitely lets you save it. So between the two boards, which one do you think is softer? I'd say the headspace. Which one do you think has more pop? I think the headspace again. Which one do you think would help you progress better on boxes and tubes? Definitely the Evil Twin. It's just, it feels like you're gonna not catch an edge and you're able to just switch from edge to edge so quickly on it to control that speed before features. Awesome, thanks for the feedback. All good. <laughs> All right guys, so it was really fun to ride two different boards in the same day. Adam, thanks for switching boards with me. It's a good thing we're about the same size. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, these were the two boards I was choosing between at the time. So I still can't tell you if I've decided the right one, but I'm definitely looking forward to progressing more on the Eagle Twin. Yeah, nice man. I would say both these boards are a good choice. Just really fun to ride. I think both great park boards, you can't go wrong. If you guys have any questions about these boards, leave them for me down in the comments. I'll also put links to both these boards in the description if you want to check them out. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks Adam man for helping out with the video and we'll see you guys in another video here from Cardrona. Later guys. See ya.